We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietro. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home in Sicily. We are still motor sailing with the full sails up and I think this is our fourth sunrise at sea, consecutive sunrise so we cannot see land anywhere. Looks like our promised wind is finally arriving <laughs> and yeah, about I would say six hours from from the port. We only need to do this for six more hours, then we enter the river at Jacksonville. Strange how boat plans just change on the fly. We change our plans and say we can just as well go to Charleston because we need to get ready for Annapolis, and then. We saw that uh, maybe we can go all the way to Fort Lauderdale and not and the weather was not playing well so we decided to go to Jacksonville instead. So. As you can see nice and, and warm uh, and yeah we enjoy so I, I, I really don't remember when that we started this journey it is just you know day one Okay, it was supposed to be one overnight, okay, day two, and then okay, we're getting into the groove, day three, and then just another day after that. So I think we are, we are now at just another day. I think day four or something. You can see we're getting closer now to the river. And we will pass now through a lot of reeds and sticks and just a lot of this. So this, these unplanned trips, I think Peter and I really, really need to jack up our game because so we are bingo and fuel here and this one doesn't have much more <laughs> and this is the thing we can get four hours from now we can get fuel at Port Jackson at the in inlet of Johnson's River we've got now the Cody out and the main but just check this it is just going crazy why why can we not just get some good weather and just sail? The Cody is also not happy with this. It's just because the mast is going absolutely bonkers. And you can see I'm trying to not let the battens hit with the shrouds because if they're going to they can easily break. Got the sheet lines, the same tension, and then, and then I've got this carab carabiner here that spreads the load to that cleat and also to the midship. And then I've got, I've got also these bungees that is trying to reduce the shock by keeping the boom but that mast is uh, the, the sail is just so big and powerful it's just not happiness and if we move more to that way then we will go off course and we will start using more fuel and it is decisions 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 Wind is busy turning, but you can see our apparent wind speed is it's 
it's just not saleable and this is why the the sales are going crazy and I already took a 10 degrees off course um, but it's just this side swells is going to break the rig so come on ah Check this shelf, how oh, it is just whopping. Oh no. Okay, I'm now 10 degrees off to that side. Hopefully, the. And it's not big smells, it's just the stupid small ones. This might be it. Oh, here we go again. Uh, this is the other thing if we if we get to the port in four hours we still need to do about five miles up the river to the anchor spot that we need to and so we can get fuel here so that is fine we just need to reach there here's a couple of bridges right here that is that one is 70 meters and you need to call it that one is 70 feet this one is well, I mean 75 feet and that one is 75 feet this one I need to call so when we reach the mouth of the river where we can fill up it's fine but if we don't if we don't fill up fast enough and don't get there quick enough we will first of all first of all sail in the dark up the river your depth perception at night is not as the same as during the day so we need to make sure that we actually go up that river in still daylight and the sun is setting at seven o'clock so we still have five hours if we hit the river five hours so in that five hours we need to make sure that the tide is low enough that we know we can clear that 75 foot bridge and we are 70 foot without the antenna, so I think we will make it. <laughs> but it would be good if the tide is low as well. And yeah, it's never a dull moment, never just simple. Let's sail there. Um, we can say, okay, let's arrive there tomorrow morning, maybe, and just drop the sails until. But then we're going to miss the flight to Annapolis boat show. Uh, it's it's just never it pours it never rains eh? that's a lot of bungees <laughs> I'm just trying to save the rigging and the Sun is just not right it's yep. like uh, in the wrong direction let's see what I can do with this <laughs> it looks like spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just trying to reduce the shock on the boom and also to save those blocks over there also of the hard shocks it's, it's so <laughs> definitely not the ideal I can I've tried to reduce the chafing by by putting a knot everywhere so it doesn't chafe but I can see there's maybe a chafing point that I need to look at oh look at the turtle looks like a leather bat look at that massive head oh he's got a long way to go to go to shore approaching Jacksonville not the best of sea states entering the entrance and these poor fishing guys are bobbing around here
This is a crazy current coming down here. Yeah? And we're into fuel, but we kept on pushing up. So we had to come inside. We couldn't go alongside over there. The bow just kept on falling off. And it was pushing us into the middle of the of the stream. I promise you in real life it looks much worse. I'm gonna see if the winds come and look at that. That is what's coming past here. Oh, wow. We just cleared our first bridge, something like Napoleon Bonaparte Bridge. And look at this water. This water is brown, very, very brown. But we're still not in Jacksonville, so we still need to go quite far up in the St. John's River. So this is our buddy from South Africa, Christian, coming to escort us into Jacksonville. And apparently the bry is waiting. And he's got his South African Springbok jersey on. How do you like that? Okay, so it's coming. So here we go. Jacksonville Airport and we're on our way to the Annapolis Boat Show. We are on our way. It's the first time that we got to the airport again in what? How many? Yeah, a long time. Eh? Yeah, it's our first flight in a long time. Yeah. Oh mine I have I've been to yeah. Iraq, but you oh, yeah. it's February last year. Yeah. So it's a year and a half ago. And we were dreading the the dreadful PSA, but over here it was it was a breeze and they were all smiling and they were all like just like friendly. I, that was that was for for me. Yeah, very very nice experience. So now we we are on our way. Here we come. And we just have a beer. <laughs> Obviously, we have to have a beer. <laughs> so see you at. The Annapolis Boat Show. I think by now we saw you. <laughs> We've got our tickets, got our gear, we've got our hats. And we've got the Pietro. Sisu swag. And we've got. It's a lot of people. A lot of boats. Wow, look at that. Can I see it? And all sorts of obstacles. It's like a real obstacle course over here. So we have, this is the two choices that Peter was talking about, blue one and a red one. Yeah, we talk about sound right. If you want to know how busy it is here. Oh, there we go. Now. Hey, we're here with Catamaran. Hey, take a picture. Oh, yeah. I'll take a picture. Yeah, let's <laughs> not you. Oh, man. <laughs> you are the picture. Oh, okay. 
Okay, give, give that to him. Here, you got a lot of arms. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so at least Frick has got it. All right, so we're here with Catamaran Brokerage. Catamaran, need a catamaran, hit the brokerage. They're working it. And so we got Frick and Frack here. <laughs> and we found somebody to fit our triple X oh, big yeah. boy. Oh, yeah. Let's see if he can slip it on. I got my doubts, but <laughs> slip down on and see if we can get it. Who thinks he can fit? Let's see. I'm not sure. I think you have a bigger one? It's a triple X. It doesn't get any bigger. Well, no, I got a four X, but you, you I left got, that home. You got five X. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, it fits. Like it, oh, does it's that a fit the big man? Yeah. 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 Sit down in the sun. I can <laughs> pick him up. All right, and thank you. Let's have this picture. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Sir, I need to give you the one of our ads. Yes. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can do that. There we go. All right, that's it. Put that one in. It's a beauty. Yeah. So what's going on? You have a good time? Last night? What time did you guys finish? Oh, man. <laughs> we finished too late. Seven painkillers later, huh? Yeah. At least we can have a picture of him like this. Like. Hi, Riley. How are you doing? So I'm going to take your picture. <laughs> Bobby! <laughs> Oh man. Now we've done it already. It's some people. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Say good morning. Hello, camera. Is this working? It's working. <laughs> Keep on talking. <laughs> Oh, yes. I'm going to visit for the